out there, he's doing this against everybody. Got him! He struck it out to end the game! Now we'll get to Corey in a minute. A little technical issues out there at Petco, but the Brewers are a team that Lou Pools by on their back. How do you think they respond here? Because the Brewers think they're going to be good. The over-under number is postseason worthy. If they can add an extra four or five wins, what's your take on the Blue? Well, you love what they did with Kane and Yelich, and interestingly, we kind of got on them for much of the offseason. Where was the starting pitch? We don't know when Jimmy Nelson's going to be back and what he's going to be when he does return. Interesting, the Sentinel reporting this morning, I don't know on what level we're talking about, but supposedly there is something in the works for bringing in a pitcher from the outside. Again, I don't know, you know, what, what caliber. But clearly, I think we both agree that is something they have to do if they're going to hang with the Cardinals. I make the postseason spot. Now, here's a tweet from uh, our good buddy, Mr. Knabel. Waking up an hour before my alarm and feeling fantastic only means one thing. Opening day 2018 is here, and this is my crew. And our buddy is Corey Knabel, of course. Brewer closer, pet go, and he says hello on FaceTime on this busy. Now, how's my main man, okay? Hey, what's up, guys? Good to have you, bro. Good, good to have you, Warren, Corey, and away we go. So you got little butterflies. You want to pitch the eighth and ninth inning today in this opening game against San Diego. <laughs> I can't wait, man. Whatever I got to do, I'm excited. Listen, this Brewer team, obviously, with the additions of Yelich and Kane, Warren goes to first base. Well, maybe you get a pitcher. You got to be pretty optimistic as far as free training is concerned. Give me a little feel of what you saw here in the month of March down in Maryvale. What, do you, what can you tell me? Bye. Uh, I mean, we all look great. We had a lot of good guys. You know, had uh, Yelich and Kane coming. I mean, come on. Outfield stacked. Braun over there at first base. We got a lot of great guys on the team. And, uh, hey, we're ready to go. Everybody is. The scenario of the starting pitching without Nelson. Yeah, this is very significant here to keep the team afloat until he comes back or maybe you make a move to get another pitcher. What's your take on that for a sec? What can you tell me there? Um, I mean... You know, I'm not really too sure what's going on, but I know we've got a great bullpen, uh, great starting staff so far. I don't know how many starters we have, if we got three or four, but, um, you know, we're going to get through this series here, try and get three out of three, and then take it to Milwaukee. But, um, you know, I, I guess uh, whatever we got coming, we're going to be ready for it. Does, is everybody okay? Listen, you got a lot of outfielders and brought a new position. Is everybody okay with all this little, you know, got a lot of people to kind of fit in as far as playing time is concerned and everything else? Corey, how about that? Did you notice any, you know, a little frustration? You know, what is my role? Didn't sense that at all in spring training. No, there's no frustration. We got a great group of guys, councils, you know, making sure everybody's going on the same page. And, uh, you know, we're going to have, you know, G-Man and Aguilar coming off the bench there and, Get a little pitch here, dance too. You know, it's gonna be a got a lot of power on the bench, a lot of power in the field. So uh, lineup's gonna be stacked, rotation gonna be stacked, bullpen. We got it all. So uh, yeah, you know. got a chance. Got a, uh, bullseye on back. A lot of people like the Brewers. You know, last year kind of snuck up on people. Had a great season. This year, everybody thinks the two additions, boy, the Brewers, they could be in the postseason. With that expectation comes a little extra pressure. How do you think the young team handles that? Let me get your take there. Uh, I mean, pressure, you know, we had a lot of pressure last year. You know, it was, uh, it got closer to after all-star break, you know, being like that. So I don't think we have any pressure coming on, coming into this open day here. We got 162 games to have fun and play some ball. So, uh, you know, just take it day by day. That's all we got to do. Interesting schedule. First off, 13 and 13 in April last year. You missed the playoffs by a game. So every game counts. You'd like to be over 500 a month of April. Thoughts there for a sec. Corey, what can you tell me? Uh, yeah, I mean, April, you know, we had a pretty good April last year and kind of looking to do the same thing this year. So, um, you know, nothing really to, to kind of build off of, nothing really to think about. But, you know, it's, this series here is it's huge for us, you know, open up on the road. So, uh, you know, we'd really like to take at least two out of three, three out of three, and go from there. You know, everything's a start. Open day's a start for sure. So, hey, we're excited, man. You should be. 14, oh, was it, uh, I think it might be, I think it's 14 games, maybe 12, but a lot of games against the Cardinals and the Cubs the first month of this season. So right out of the gate, you're going to be tested in the NL Central. How about that for a sec? Of course, man, I love facing them. Love facing the NL Central, Cubs and Cardinals. It's always a good rivalry, especially with the Cubs. Uh, you know, so those are going to be pretty big for us. 
you know, especially with the Cubs, that's the team to beat. I mean, the Cardinals are right there too. So um, for us, it's going to be it's going to be some tests, and you know, I think we're all ready for it. Uh, how about you personally? Had a great year last year. Um, you know, first big time doing this, and boy, you responded. What could you do better? Did you learn something about pacing yourself? Did you run out of gas? You tell me. What did Corey Knable learn in 2017 that you can apply to yourself as a closer in 2018? Yeah, at the end of the year, council kind of saw the same thing. He said, you know, you had you know this amount of appearances, whatever it was, and so we still. You know, we had the postseason that was right there. We were in there, you know, we wanted to make sure you were ready, and I was. Um, we both agreed. Yeah, I had, you know, the most outings of my career, but, um, you know, he said this year, just get ready. You know, days off, you're going to be a little more slim, and I'm ready for that. Um, just got to know how to pace myself. And you know, I'm not really too sure, you know, <clears throat> anything else I could do because I was ready every day last year. So that's my plan again this year, just be ready and try and limit the amount of pitches I could throw every inning. All right, good job. Kane and Yelich, let me get a little sense. Uh, you know, Kane started with Milwaukee, Yelich obviously with Miami. They fit in. Give me a little rundown on the two new guys you brought. Basically on the same day, a big day in Milwaukee, Brewer history there in the offseason. Give me your sense how they fit in in the month of March. Well, I mean, Kane came in the first day and, you know, he was home. Everybody knew it, uh, starting with Ed Peter over there, our third base coach. Uh, you know, they love each other and always have, so... Uh, he's fitting right in. Yelich is the same way, man. I mean, everybody, you know, everybody's known Yelich. Everybody does. And, um, he's fitting right in the same day he came over and uh, got a lot of good guys to keep everybody on their back. So uh, we're all having a great time. Man, and Kane is, Kane is, Kane's a funny guy. So he's going to be a good addition over here. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Corey. We're going to keep an eye on you. Uh, get to the uh, uh, course here. That we be, when we call, pick up the phone. Course of the year. We want conversations, okay? Perfect. I'll be here. <laughs> I know you will. Go get him today. Thanks for a few minutes. We appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. See you, man. You got it. You got it. Corey Canabe, what a good guy. And he comes on all the Q, DQ, Ballpark, Camp.